Well, today we are touring Kampala, the capital and largest city of Uganda, courtesy of Major UG, which offers several tour services, including free walks, where you get to experience the vibrant streets, history and attractions of Kampala, Jinja and Entebbe. The free walk starts from Buganda Road at Crafts Market. Along Buganda Road, you will be able to see the Chief Magistrate Courts. Kampala Central Police Station offices. We then crossed to the Constitutional Square, which was originally called City Square and later changed to the Constitutional Square in 1995 after the amendment of the Uganda Constitution. The square symbolizes constitutionalism and is a pointer to the fact that Uganda is a democratic country guided by the constitution and rule of law. This is where we find the World War Memorial Monument, which is the oldest monument in Kampala built by the British colonial government in 1945 in memory of Ugandans who died supporting the British soldiers during the First and Second World War. The monument is printed on the 5,000 Ugandan shilling note. This is how we cross Kampala Road. Look left, look right, look left once more, then look right, then go. <laughs> So, right behind me there is the Bank of Uganda and uh, we're walking past the Bank of Uganda in a short while. Uh, we have the East African Development Bank just right behind me here. It's one of one, one, one very tall building. Top is the Independence Monument, and uh, we're going to be checking it out to see the history. Thanks to Imaja Nuji, who are going to be taking us through, giving us history of what's happened here and why the monuments are there, and of what significance they are. And I'm sure you'll have so much to learn from this video. We then walk towards Speak Road, where we find the Independence Monument, which is also printed on Uganda's currency notes. Uganda got her independence on the 9th of October in 1962. It's a symbolic uh, monument. As you look at it, the woman that is holding the baby is the old Uganda, and the wraps around the woman is the colonialism, and as you go up, realize it's unwrapping. Then the baby she's holding is the new Uganda. We encountered a group of children who had come to shoot a music video about Uganda and had a brief interaction with them plus their manager. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. 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 This is Bobby. Yeah. yeah, all the way from Uganda. Hey, in Uganda. Yeah, very proud of my country. The country is so beautiful. So tell us about what's happening. Yeah, I'm seeing very yeah. smart kids, very beautiful <laughs> Right girls, now, yeah. uh, a girl called Rokimi girl. She's a musician, a dancer, model, a TV presenter, everything. This time she's a musician. She has been singing. But this time she came up with a beautiful song. It's all about Uganda. Uganda, Uganda. Uganda yeah, Uganda and Siyange, Eneya Gaza. Okay, she's and called Rokimi? Yeah, Rokimi girl. Rocky. Rokimi, come and yeah. say hello. Come and say hello. <laughs> yeah, she's here. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, here comes Rocky. Yes. Hi Rocky. Hi. Say hello. You're going to be on a YouTube, my YouTube channel. Just say hello to the people that are watching and tell them what your song is about. Hello everyone. My name is Rocky Miguel. I'm a musician, a dancer, a model, and a TV presenter. Wow. Well, right now we're just here to record my new video on Uganda. We're all smart dressed. We're all smart dressed. As you can see, all my dancers are right here and they're just ready to rock it. Okay. All right. Okay. Now. This I can't I can't let this one go. Please, if you wanna watch no more, 
no more things about Uganda or any other things. Please just subscribe to Mr. 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 Sims's channel. Yeah. You get to know each and everything. Okay. You know, you get another part of Africa. Mr. Sims, you're the best. Thank How you can so you much. Say? So where, where are we going to find a video when it's out? The Which video. It's going to be on YouTube. YouTube. You text in Rokimi Girl. Rokimi Girl. Rokimi Girl. Rokimi Girl. Yeah, you're going on our first and on our facebook page yeah. still the, the same name rokimi girl on YouTube, then on, her, on instagram mm, instagram everywhere you just awesome. text in rokimi girl, rokimi girl. Yeah, it's gonna be and it's gonna be a blast, blast. Oh, big a up. big <laughs> one <laughs>
This year is the old taxi park and it is the oldest of the two main taxi parks in Uganda. We didn't begin it, but these guys have a system on how they get out, how they commence over there, how they come in on this side and they leave. You see the sign on top of the taxi? Not, not only will I let you know where the taxi is going, but it'll also let you know which taxi is next. So if you need to find your area, if you don't feel comfortable asking anybody, you can stand here and, and look for your sign there and you'll find it. And, but for the most part, you know, everyone speaks English. You just go down there and ask them, hey, That's I gotta go. Yeah, they're gonna come find you first. Soon go get them. So right behind us is a window market, commonly known as St. Palikotende. All those blocks you see right over there. Uh, for her, we even uh, found some second-hand shoes. Uh, it's a top level up, and uh, that's where they wholesale second-hand shoes. So that's another thing. You can get wholesale products here as well. So you can get a better deal for what you're looking for, basically, because here you can get more. We are walking towards St. Balikodembe Market, commonly known as Owino, and one can buy almost anything from traditional medicine to televisions and it's most famous for its second-hand clothing. Finding your way in here can be very tricky because of the high level of activity and movement of people. While in here, you need to watch your belongings and hold tight onto them. Don't forget to stay as close to your guide as possible while in here. are going to be buying some things here. I might also want to buy something but this is the African craft market here at Vanda Road. My name is uh, King Obatunda. Um, I explained earlier why I chose my name uh, yeah. that way. Um, so basically, this is my second time here in Uganda, and um, I'm going to be coming back again. I'm actually leaving in a few days. Um, so when I originally came to Uganda, I came with a uh, group, uh, me and another person who I was in the army with, and uh, a Kenyan girl and another guy from Jamaica. Yeah. We uh, decided to backpack around Africa because we wanted to just get a, a taste of the culture because... In America, for Black Americans or African Americans, um, a lot of our history has been um, hidden or taken away from us through just hundreds of years of, of, of problematic things. So, I felt that it was very important for me before I get in too old or before I die mm -hmm. to come back to the motherland to reconnect because, yeah. at the end of the day, I felt it was the only way I can get the real experience. I've read books, I've seen documentaries. Mm -hmm. I've even listened to podcasts. I was, yeah. I've done my research on trying to understand the motherland, but you'll never get the real taste of it yeah. until you until actually come here. Experience, yeah. And so walk on the land, yeah. that was my main focus. And when I got here, the first time I was overwhelmed because I had such low expectations, yeah. and my expectations were based off of very, very negative stereotypes. So yeah. again, that's one thing I do want to stress to everyone. Please come here with an open mind because your stereotypes can put a fear inside of you that will prevent you from having 
the most ultimate and best experience of your life. And I, I'm not going to lie. I honestly was a very paranoid because of my fear. So it was a lot of places I didn't get to experience yep. because I was just too afraid that something might happen yeah, something or I might be careless or whatever the case may be. Listen, yeah. life is going to happen to you. It's all about how you you know plan ahead and how you take care of yourself and when you're traveling abroad. You know, when you're doing those things, just be careful as if you're back home, but yeah. still come here to enjoy yourself. So um, my original journey, I started in Kabale, which is the western region of, uh, of Uganda, Uganda, close to uh, the border of Congo, Congo and uh, Rwanda. It's actually two hours from Jigali. And uh, Kisora is in that area. Buendi, uh, the, the Buendi Forest is in that area. So you can go see the gorillas and things like that. Um, and that area uh, is known as Lake Mignoni is where I stayed at. That place is absolutely very beautiful. beautiful very You're beautiful. talking about Wakanda from the movie peaceful Black Panther? And, yeah. That's the one right there. It's beautiful. Very peaceful out there. The local tribe in that area is the Bachiga, and yeah. they are just the friendliest people you can meet. The weather, the weather there is so Oh, cool. man. <laughs> so that was another thing I got a taste of. Uh, Africa only has two seasons uh, that I know of. Yeah. Uh, Uganda has two seasons that I know of, a wet season and a dry season. Yeah. So in the city, in the capital... You experience the difference between the wet and the dry season in Kabale. That's more of the tropical uh, rainforest region, yeah. so it can actually rain a little bit more, and it's higher up in elevation. Yeah. But when I tell you it is beautiful out there, it is amazing yeah. out there. Um, if you would take a bus from Kampala to Kabale, you're actually going to cross over the equator, yeah. and some buses do make a stop at the equatorial line, mm. so you get to see the water from. Um, on one side of the, the equator, the water, it goes down. If you drain the water, yeah. it goes down clockwise or counterclockwise. Or if you're in the center, it just goes down in the center. Um, but you see a lot of different uh, uh, things uh, along the way. So when you get to Kabale, um, there's not a lot of wildlife there. But the area is known as the Lake of Little Birds, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And there's hundreds of tiny yeah. little birds out there, hummingbirds yeah. and songbirds different kind of birds out red, there and it's just species, perfect yeah. for that so if you like and the uh, sounds when you wake up in the morning oh man you hear the sounds in the morning you don't need an alarm clock put yeah. it like that <laughs> you do not need an alarm clock yeah. if the chickens don't wake you up or the roosters <laughs> don't wake you up the yeah, birds the definitely will, will. yeah they definitely yeah. will uh, it's very nice meeting you thank, thank you so, so much, much for coming to the country and uh i'm sure we're going to keep in touch. oh yeah definitely yeah so this I'm is be uganda back. this is uganda all right so you can guys you can follow me on uh king over tuna I'm, I'm on instagram it's the same on instagram and youtube is my name so you can go on king over tuna on instagram or king over tuna on uh, youtube yeah. you can follow me there i have some videos of mr musa guzi there and emerges ug where we did a, a um a, tour. a walk tour around the kampala city it's a free walk tour so you get to learn the city and whatnot. And um, I'm posting, uh, I try to post every week until I start to improve with my subscribers and I start to improve my videos. Then I'll probably do daily posts and things like that. Awesome. All right, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. you. Have right. a nice day. Nice day to you. All right, okay. Now, this, I can't, I can't let this one go. Please, if you wanna watch no more, no more things about Uganda or any other things, please just, subscribe to Mr. 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 Sims's channel. Yeah. You get to know each and everything. You know, yeah. you get the pal of Africa. Mr. Sims, you're the best. Thank How you can so you much. Say?